Come on, bit of exercise will get some fat off you. I haven't got any fat on me. Cat, turn me top. Don't feel like it. Thanks all the same. I'm too angry. What's the matter? It's Mum. She's a cheat, a fraud, a hypocrite and a liar. Steady on? Yeah, steady on. That's slander or libel. Not quite sure which. She can take you to court. You can't lie on your own mother, can you? Of course you can. Anyway, what's the matter? She only cheats to make enough money to feed and clothe us. We ought to be grateful to our dear old fat mum. She could do with a game of darts. Lose a bit of weight. Anyway, it's all over now, Cat. There won't be any more seances in this house, so you can forget it. And stop calling mum a liar. Talk about hypocrisy. You're not exactly Miss Truth, 1982. Exactly. Why? Do you believe in death to part of spirits yourself? We know you do. We don't anymore. All right, then prove it. Call one up. A spirit? Yes. If you don't believe in ghosts, then there's nothing to be scared of, is there? If a departed spirit doesn't come to you from the other side, when you call one up, you'll know for sure you're normal, like us. So, why not have a go? Try it. You've got the gift according to Mum. Oh, seventh child of a seventh child. So call up a ghost. Sounds like calling for a taxi. Shut up. Come on, Cass, put yourself to the test. I don't know how to. Mum's never taught me. You've heard her, moaning away and chanting at her seances. All those times we've crept downstairs and listened at the door. Who is there? Are you coming through from the other side? Make a sign. <laughs> you drive them all away, Tom. Come on, Cass, put yourself to the test. I dare you to. You never pat her. All right, I will. If I've really got psychic powers, I must know, mustn't I? Yes. You must. Better wait till Mum goes out again. Yeah, you'd better. Right. Who are you going to call up? Someone we know. As long as they're dead. Passed over, please. We don't want to call up just anybody. Let's get someone nice. What about Dad? No, I don't think so. I can hardly remember him. Mum must have tried to have got in touch with him. She's never said so. Wasn't there a great uncle? Was there? Died two years ago. Mum was quite upset because she liked him. He left her a painting, the one she sold in that auction to pay for our holiday in Clacton. That was great uncle Matthew. Oh, him. Oh, I remember him. His beard had egg stains on it. When he kissed you, it smelled of pipe. The smell of earth and worms now. Oh. So, great uncle Matthew is definitely out. I know. I've got it. Charlotte Webb. Charlotte Emma Elizabeth, Elizabeth Webb. Webb. That's who she can call up. We can't be scared of her, can we? Not Charlotte, no. Good idea. I wonder what she'll be like. Let's hope she's pretty. I wonder if she'll come. Come on. She's still there. Where else would she be? Dear old Charlotte. Old? Give her a chance. She's only seven. Was. Is. Poor girl. How awful to die at seven. Isn't there something about dying young? It's the gods love you. Wasn't unusual in those days. Lots of kids died from diseases they didn't know how to cure. TB, meningitis, typhoid, scarlet fever. Quite right, Dr. Parler. I think I'd rather call up my old friend. He's over here. You remember? We used to call him the poor prisoner. Oh, yes, him. There's nothing to say he was a convict. 
I used to imagine he was a galley slave. Oh, no. I called him the poor prisoner. Because his grave was so simple. And he couldn't get out even if he wanted to. With all these brambles and weeds over him. Besides, he's from the 18th century. Much longer ago. So more interesting, don't you think? Tom? What? More interesting to bring back someone who was born in 1795. Don't you agree? He could tell us all about the French Revolution. What, him? He's not French. He must have known it was going on. I say, remember this one? The Black Beast. I forgot about that one. The dog. Several. That's what it was called. We must have been daft. Idiotic, thick-headed kids. Why? Who ever heard of the dog living 42 years? I don't remember a date on it. Then what does he still live? Devil with a human being. A bloke. No rest in peace. Or anything. He must have been very poor. And ugly, I expect. And unloved. Wicked, I bet. <laughs> How do you know? Because they've only given him a surname. And a date. No beloved son. Or husband. Or brother of anyone. And no R.I.P. I bet his family were too mean to spend any more on him because he was... We a... don't know anything about him. So you better not say anything. Would you like me to try and raise Charlotte Webb? Yes, but not now. Must be at night when it's dark. Not dark? Moonlight? Surely? Of course, there must be a moon. All right, Monday week. All right, Cass? I suppose so. We'll have to make an excuse to come out here. I'll think of one. Yeah. Would it be all right if we got any pictures tonight? Well, all of you. Yes. Well, what about your own work? I have some dates to learn from last week. I've learned them. I've got a French essay to do by Thursday. That's all. Oh, I shan't have any tonight. I see. Very well, then. Nice day. Not a cloud in the sky. Well, let's have a look at your cuffs, love. See what the two years have to get out of. May I see? No. I'm lucky to tell you, unfortunately. I'm sure you'll know that. crossing the road, or will I get an A for English? No, nothing there, love. No, nothing to worry about. Just you behave yourself today. Be polite. And don't go disturbing anyone. Time for school. Coming, Mary? We'll get the bus to the regal, OK? What? The film? Something Tom wants to see. That's right. New disaster movie. All the oil in the North Sea catches fire at once. And they can't put it out because the sea's too rough for the firemen. In their boat. Well, if you know what happens, what's the point of seeing the film? Well, we don't really. We just read about it. If we ought to go or we'll be late. I hope you've got some money, because it's no good asking me. Oh, yeah. Okay, then. I suppose so. Off you go. Mind you behave yourselves. Now, you remember what I've said, Cassie. Don't go disturbing anyone. Come on. Bye. 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 Smashing moo. Just the job. Bye the light. Off the silvery moon. <laughs> it is like this, Tom. We shan't need your torch. Just as well. Battery's on its last leg. Nervous, Cassie? Not a bit. I've just been thinking. The cemetery gates have been locked. We used to get him round the back somewhere. Over the wall. Hope you've got your climbing boots on, Cass. We're off to see the spirit. The wonderful spirit of who? The, the wonderful spirit of Charlotte Webb. We're, We're off, off to, to see, see the, the spirit. spirit. The wonderful spirit, the wonderful spirit of, of Charlotte Webb. Webb.
There's a notch in the wall here. We'll give Cass a leg up first. She's the lightest. Come on, Mary, give us a hand. Take hold of her foot. And lift her up. Oh, fatty. Come on, Cass. You can't hang about. Someone might come. Okay. I can't see what I'm dropping into. You just have to chance it. young, it would be a shame to wake her. Little things need their sleep. Let her rest in peace, the beloved. You didn't do it right. You've been ill-taught. I use my mother's words. What she said. Words, yes, a gavel of meaningless words. Didn't they teach you anything? Words are no good. Listen to your thoughts. The dark blood in your heart. Can you hear it? You're frightened, little girl. Be frightened. Fear is the best teacher. I learned that way through fear and hate. I can help you. And teach you. You want to be a witch, do you not, child? No! I thank you all the same. But I really must be going. It's getting late. Your hand is blood. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
We had to run for it. There was this copper. Came round the corner, just as I was climbing up the wall. And we don't want the police round our necks. Not with Mum's little spot of trouble. So we ran. I'd like to go home now. It's cold. Yeah, it's OK. Come on. Trick, leave me in there on my own. I'm glad it wasn't a trick. You didn't manage to raise Charlotte Webb then? No, you're in the clear. I'm not sure. There was this man. What man? Near Charlotte Webb's grave. It was creepy, he looked so odd. What was he doing? Staring at me. Some poor old tramp, I expect. Sleeping out under the stars. I bet he disturbed him from his favourite. Haunt? More likely a flasher. A what? The kind mum says you're not to speak to. Men in Max prowling at night. You know. I don't think he was one of those. You won't tell mum anything, will you? Of course not. We've been to a movie, haven't we? Yeah, that's right, a movie. Hi, Mum. It's us. I'd like to know where else it could have been. All right, you lot. Get your mugs. I'll give you some nice hot soup. We were hoping you would. Kathy's feeling cold. Here you are. Leo. For us. And Kathy's a crack of corn. Right. Save it to Nanny. I didn't like what I saw tonight. But I did. It's all a matter of individual taste, isn't it? See anything nice on the telly? Oh, I didn't watch that. I've been much too busy washing and ironing. I'm sewing on the buttons. Thank you. Poor Mum. Yeah, no poor about it, love. It's my job. Come on, my dear. Get on with your soup and off to bed. Be fit for nothing in the morning. No, please. Don't come up. Don't come up. It's all right. Only a nasty dream. It's gone now. Nothing to worry about. There. Sorry, Mum. Oh, it's quite all right, darling. Oh, only one of your silly old nightmares, wasn't it? <laughs> I expect that film upset you, didn't it? Mum just dumped it. For waking everyone up. Oh, only a silly old mum. <laughs> I was up anyway, reading the papers, going through the adverts. What for? Oh, uh, never you mind. <laughs> Come on. I'll try, Mum. Sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about, my darling. Now you snuggle down. Try and get back to sleep, eh? Okay, Mum. Good night. Good night, my darling. somewhere else. There are reasons, I'm afraid. What about school? Well, we'll have to find you a new one, won't we? How can we pass our exams if we're always changing school? You are not always changing school. We've been to five different ones since Dad died. This is the longest we've ever stayed in one place. That's because she got found out. Tom, 
Mind your tongue. Anyway, I'm leaving school at Christmas. That lets me out. I like our school. I don't want to change. Look, it's no good making a great fuss and hullabaloo about it. I can't help the situation. We're poor and that's that. I can't live on fortune telling alone. What about the Friday seances? Well, that's the trouble. I, I can't go on with them, you see. And not in Southgate. Why not? I thought the law weren't going to prosecute you. The law won't come into it unless Mrs. Uncle Brown and her nasty little nephew inform on me. Well? I've given an undertaking, my dear one, never to hold a spiritualist seance in this town ever again. But you're entitled to do what you like in your own house. Tell my son I still have some honour left. An undertaking is an undertaking. Like a gentleman's agreement. That's right. A lady's agreement. And that's why we're moving. To carry on faking in some other town. Mary! And train Cassie to be a fake too. I'm not at all sure I shall ever come back. Mum? Cassie saw a departed spirit on Monday evening. She what? Saw a departed spirit. A ghost. In the cemetery. It spoke to her. Thank you. 